You know, I'd say this is great news for Clippers fans. Uh, just great news in general in regards to just, you know, Kawhi and PG. Because a lot of negativity surrounds them, you know, ever since they've been on the Clippers. And, you know, Kawhi has been surrounded by negativity even before the Clippers due to the fact that he doesn't like to talk. He doesn't want to communicate with others. And he doesn't let other people in his world the way the media would like him to do, like other superstars do and other players do. And I think a lot of criticism just comes with being him just in general. But at the same time, you know, there is some praise that comes along with criticism as well and vice versa. But when in this situation, I feel like Clippers fans should be happy to hear that, you know, the words going around that Kawhi and PG want to not only, you know, honor the contract that they're in, but they want an extension after their contract is up. Now, everybody knows this season, after this season specifically, both of them could opt out of their, their contract and they can actually walk, go somewhere else and actually play for another team and actually not, you know, come back to the Clippers. So with that being said, you know, like I said, the reports and everything say, sources say that Kawhi and PG want to stay in L.A. They want to stay with the Clippers going forward, even after, you know, when it comes time to sign their, re-sign a contract. And, you know, that's going to really depend on, you know, them in regards to their health. Now, in regards to the organization, if that's true, I'm pretty sure the organization definitely wants to hear that because those two players definitely give them an opportunity to win a championship every time they're on the floor. And they're definitely, you know, one of those uh, one of those type of duos where they can definitely do that because with the defense that both of them have and both of them can score at a high clip and Kawhi's, you know, his bag is just different to me. You know, he, he can just you know, really change a game through his defense and how he plays. And he's just such a weapon all the way around. He's that's, that, that's what makes him an elite player, you know, amongst the greatest in the, in the NBA. And Paul George is a top 10 player when healthy to me. Um, I think he's uh, at least number nine, number 10, I would say in my book, if I had to, you know, rate players or something like that. But um, definitely they're uh, definitely a good duo when they're, when they're healthy together and both of them is right. So, I mean, it's encouraging in regards to that. But it's like I said, for them to, this year is going to tell a lot because if they don't stay healthy for the majority of this year, I'm talking both players, not one out of two, at least both. Both of them, I mean, have to stay healthy at least most of this season. I'm saying got to at least play, I don't know, 60 games. They got to at least play about 60 games this season. If they can do something like that, then, I mean, you know, or, you know, that that that's, that's progress because that's more than I think both of them have played in the season the last couple of years. Or maybe somewhere around that, 60, 65 would be great, you know, if they can do that. But um, it's going to be tough with their health issues. And I, as I said before, I think that's what's going to determine whether the Clippers would offer them an extension or not. Or when it comes to that time, the Clippers might actually look to maybe move in one of them, if not both of them. Because the, the 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 names on the roster is great. Kawhi and PG name name wise, you're good. But health wise, are you good? Health wise, are you gonna are you getting what you're really paying for with those two players, or are you giving away money hoping that they live up to something that they haven't due to injury, and they're just living off their household name of what they've done in the NBA prior to coming to the uh, Clippers. And that's what the front office is going to really have to think about. And that's the only way I think that it's really going to transpire. And, of course, if they win a championship, well, that's all said and done. Then, then of course, everything is excused. I mean, they will definitely get a, a, a contract extension. They'll get that and plus more if they wanted to. So, I mean, you know, it, it all really – it's all going to depend with the Clippers. It's not really a situation where, you know, the Clippers have to, you know uh, – just come to a decision whether they want to keep these two guys or not just because of who they are and what they've done. No, it's going to depend on, you know, their health and their health is so huge. I mean, it's going to depend on a lot because if for some reason the Clippers, if Kawhi and PG are not healthy this year, I mean, not only is that going to hurt their chance with the Clippers, but it's going to hurt their, their chances and their value of trying to go other places because other places will definitely take Kawhi and or PG. But at the same time, 
you know, it, it's better to have your stock at its highest when you're ready to move on to another team and when you're ready to, you know, um, depart from uh, one situation going to another because you got you got more options and you got better choices to choose from. You know what I'm saying? If, if your stock is up there like that, rather than when your stock is down, you got less choices and you kind of just maybe taking the what, what you can get or maybe try to stay where you are. And that might not be the case for either player. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a tough season really for the Clippers. I mean, the schedule scheduling um is an issue from what i'm hearing from what the sources say and read looking at the schedule the clippers got a lot more away games a lot more flying to do um and uh then you you look at the fact of the new rule put in place in regards to low managing where i think only one player could load management not low manage not both um, if you're over 35, you're able to load manage as much as you want at a certain age. But I mean, really, with that rule being put in pa- place, you know, that rule is going to be added to over time as well. They're going to add things to that rule to where, oh, they might change from 35 to 33. You know, what I'm saying if you're 33 or older or 38 or older or whatever, then you load manage. I mean, it's going to be some things added to that rule. I can already tell you that going forward, or at least I believe that anyway. But the way it is right now, it doesn't work even in the Clippers advantage because load management is what Kawhi does. And he's always been known for that through Greg Popovich and the Spurs era. And, you know, other players have adopted it throughout the league along with his teammate, you know, uh, Paul George and what they're thinking. But I just think that, you know, overall load management does that. That just sounds so bad because it sounds like the player is taking games off rather than being hurt. Now, I personally believe Kawhi is hurt when he doesn't go out there and play. I personally believe the same thing about Paul George. You know, a player is not, if they can't go, they can't go. It's just the way it is. I mean, you know, people pay for tickets or not. If a player can't make it, they just can't make it. I mean, I, I understand that, you know, people pay their hard-earned money, all these things, and I'm one of those people who pay my hard-earned money to go to games. But if a player is not right, they're just not right. You know what I'm saying? You'd rather them be out a couple of games rather rather than the postseason, the playoffs start, and they're not even there to start the biggest part of the season rather than just a regular season game that, you know what I'm saying, is one of many during the season. So, I mean, I definitely understand fan standpoint who disagree agree with the you know with that premise and all those things but when a player is hurt i just rather them not you know be there because i mean if they're hurt they're not going to do any good they're not going to bring any greatness to the team that they would if they were playing at a high level and on top of that you know the the injury might go a little bit further or they might sustain another injury on top of that just to come out there and play that one game that you went to go see them play because you paid your money i understandably so you're in the right you, you definitely want to go out there and see the best of the best. But at the same time, you also don't want to see that. You also don't want to go to one game, one regular season game and pay for a ticket and see your your favorite player. And then uh, the next day he gets hurt because he tried to prey on a, a limp leg or something like that. And he extends that and sustains another injury. Now he's out for the rest of the season. So, I mean, you don't want to see that either. So it's like pick your poison, give or take. You got to play give or take in those situations. And I think that's what people should do more than actually just react to oh he's low manager because of such and such you don't know the reason you don't know his body you don't know how he feels and you probably never had an injury that he has or has sustained because you've never been a basketball player on that level so people have to play give and take with that not just look at it one-sidedly so you know you have to have kind of like a neutral position when it comes to that um you know load management thing so i mean that's another thing against the clippers on top of that so uh with that being said you know you hope that Kawhi and pg make it back after this season because, I mean, the era of those two players could really be dynamic, you know, with this team. I mean, I personally think if they were healthy, I mean, I'm talking they at least make it to two NBA finals, at least two of those. If Kawhi and PG was healthy, they at least make it to two if healthy to me. Um, if they're right, if everything is going well, I, I think they make it two NBA finals. I think they at least win one, more likely win both, but at least win one, at least win one. But, um, you got to hope for the best with this team and hopefully they resign. Hopefully their health is in good standards this year where everything goes accordingly and maybe they'll win a championship. But it's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section and we'll talk about it. Mm-hmm.